Okay. All right. Well, welcome. I'm really excited to be sharing with you um, the most recent offering that we have created called the Ask program, which it stands for Advanced Yoga Specialty and Therapy Program. But we also um, are going to clarify for you um, how this program works in terms of uh, receiving a master certification as well. Um, before we get started, I just want to take a moment to introduce myself and a couple of our teachers who are here with us today um, so that you have some familiarity with what your uh, teaching team looks like. And um, so I'll start by sharing a little bit about myself. I am the founder and president of Inspiridish Yoga, and I am also the leader of our Southwest training division. I'm an ERYT master level yoga instructor and yoga teacher trainer. I'm also a yoga therapist, a Thai yoga massage practitioner, um, a Reiki practitioner, and an Am I Hungry mindful eating facilitator. So uh, I started teaching in 2006. Uh, soon after that, I started assisting with yoga teacher trainings and really knew that I had a passion to help equip people um, to teach yoga and also um, receive continuing education. And so I developed a yoga school that was founded in 2011. And we now have three training divisions, um, including mine, which is located in uh, Phoenix, Arizona, the Southwest Training Division. Um, Shirley Beth uh, Berthelet, excuse me, um, her training division is located in uh, Saskatoon and Esther Hazy, kind of, um, and <laughs> in uh, Saskatchewan, Canada. And then we also have Trina Campbell, who heads up our Midwest Training Division based in Detroit, Michigan. So you'll learn a little bit about each of them today and um, their experience and qualifications. But let me just say that uh, this program has really been in the works for several years now. And um, it just took some time to really organize it in the way that we wanted to deliver it. So um, now is the time and we are thrilled to be able to offer this program to you. Before I get started into the details of our program, I do wanna take a moment to introduce two of the teachers who will be a part of this this training program with you, um, including Shirley, like I said, who um, she heads up our Canadian training division. So go ahead, Shirley, and introduce yourself. Thanks, Don. So my name is Shirley Berthelet, and I live in Esterhazy, Saskatchewan, which is a small town in uh, about the middle of Canada in the province of Saskatchewan. I have been a yoga instructor since 2006 as well, um, and I was a group fitness instructor prior to that. And um, and then, so my first experience with yoga was really in that, uh, from a fitness perspective. So I, there's my cat, everybody say hi to my cat. <laughs> She'll just sit on the table anyway, and distract me mostly. Um, anyway, so I, I initially took my yoga teacher training as a way to offer yoga in a fitness setting. So for a long time, I did that and then eventually discovered um, I wanted to take my uh, additional training in yoga because I loved the experience I had for myself and what, what my students took away from it. Different from my other exercise classes that I taught, there was a profound shift in people's um, mental state when they came into my yoga class and when they left. So I focused for a long time on continuing my education um, specific to yoga. And I too am an ERYT um, and a master yoga teacher trainer. Um, I also am a personal trainer and group fitness trainer. So I still, I still have uh, um, that fitness component as a strong background to what I do in my yoga practice. And taught for a long time in... Um, in the city of Saskatoon, but then moved to a small community. When I moved to this community, it was really difficult for me to do, to continue my yoga education. So I started to um, create a curriculum to, to uh, teach yoga teachers from a fitness perspective. At the same time, I had been connected with Dawn for since 2011 when Dawn did her first, um, training in, in uh, at that time it was the Living Well Center and now we are in Spiritus Yoga. So I had connected 
connected with Dawn because I too was really drawn to teach teachers how to teach. I love to teach yoga, but I love to teach teachers. So we've been connected since 2011 and I have done a few trainings here in Canada. And then last year we decided that it might work really well if we expanded what we were doing and connected it more internationally. So now, now we've kind of made the shift in our 200 hour program to, um, to kind of expand that idea of an international yoga teacher training. And then Dawn has been working on, as she said, the advanced teacher training program for a long time. Continuing education is huge for those of us that want to continue teaching students, right? We have to stay um, ahead of the game. And we're, most of us attracted to ongoing education, it's because we're lifelong learners. And I think that, um, you know, there's just a lot of merit in, in the personal growth that you will experience in an advanced training program that you will then translate or transfer to your students. So I am so excited that we've taken this step to, to launch this advanced training. And I know it's going to be amazing and it will continue to evolve. And, and I mean, we're just so excited about who else Dawn has connected to bring into this training and, and uh, it'll be just such a, uh, a real gift to the yoga community. So thank you, Dawn. Thank you, Shirley. And um, just to let you all know, um, like Shirley said, she has been a part of the training organization of Inspiritus Yoga um, since it began, basically. And um, it's been an amazing journey. And Shirley has done an incredible job preparing and equipping teachers and mentoring her um, teachers in training um, to really have them feel completely prepared when they graduate to go out and teach, which is something that we find doesn't often happen in 200 hour programs. A lot of times, um, you know, trainees will go through and by the end, they still don't feel confident and comfortable teaching. And so it has been our mission to really adequately and go even above and beyond um, to prepare people so that they um, do feel confident and ready to teach when they complete their training program. And so um, Shirley and I are very like-minded in that way and Trina as well, who is out in Detroit um, and just ensuring uh, our teachers success. And so this is just an extension of that, really continuing to um, provide opportunities for growth and for learning um, so that we can uh, continue to add to our own credentials for sure the teacher is always the student first right and then um, to make sure that you're adequately equipped and you feel confident and comfortable in whatever area you choose to teach so thank you Shirley um, I also want to introduce Rachel Glowacki um, we met a long time ago and uh, during her teacher training I was one of her um, training assistants and so I would love to um, have you share a little bit about yourself Rachel Hi everybody, I am Rachel Glowacki and I'm sitting here just like pinching myself that I'm in this seat. 11 years later, I met Dawn in 2007 when I was going through my teacher training and before I decided to do yoga, I was also like Shirley in the fitness world. I was a Les Mills instructor, which was body pump if you're familiar with that. If not, it's a group fitness um, with weightlifting and step aerobics and I got pregnant and I was really attracted to yoga and I was in a space where I needed to stop doing that zzz, zzz, zzz kind of music <laughs> I need to bring it down and so when I went through my 200 hour um, my boys were one and two years old and there really wasn't a lot of, of children's yoga in which I specialize in today um, so I've been teaching adults yoga for the past 10 years, and I'm an EYRT. I'm also a Yoga Alliance um, credit educational provider. I've also assisted in multiple different trainings as a teacher, created curriculum for kids yoga, um, had my own business called Kids Yogaverse. Um, since there wasn't a lot of curriculum out there for kids, I started practicing yoga on my own kids and developed the very first yoga app for the iPad and wrote three um, yoga books for the iPad and connected technology, movement, yoga, and music and art um, in the public school system. So I teach in the public schools. I also teach faith-based yoga as a way to connect um, the Christian faith with the practice. And I am so grateful to be a part of this training group to facilitate a 10 hour, I think we decided 10 hours of 
um, kid training. And as they said earlier about, you know, you always have to be a student first as a teacher. And so for me, um, teaching adults and children is coming to the space um, from your inner child. Like when you think of children, you think of you're always in this space of learning. Your eyes are open. You have this sense of wonder. And regardless if you're teaching adults or children, that is in the space in which we learn the most. And so I'm really grateful to be part. If you have any questions about kids stuff, um, you can always reach out and you have my info. So thank you. Thanks, Don. Thank you, Rachel. Um, I'm going to share just a little bit about some of the other instructors who are a part of this program with you. And all of this information is contained in our information packet. So you can read through for more details and more information. Um, but I, I do want to take a moment to introduce um, Trina Campbell. She is the leader of the Midwest training division for Inspiritus Yoga and has been with us since I think 2013, if I'm not mistaken. Um, she also is the owner of Sacred Space uh, Yoga Center and the founder of Exalt God Only Ego Yoga. Um, she's a master level Christ-centered yoga instructor and a massage therapist and a reflexologist. And um, she has lots and lots of experience um, teaching yoga, training yoga instructors, and also um, knows a great deal about the body. So it'll be really fun to have her um, be a part of this training with us. In addition to that, we have Heath and Nicole Reed. Um, I'm going to spend a little time talking about each one independently. Um, they are a married couple who have a business together called Living Meta. And um, Heath was um, one of my instructors in my yoga therapy training. Um, Heath and Nicole trained me in Thai yoga massage. And um, I also consider Heath to be um, you know, very important part of my mentoring uh, team, as well as Nicole. Um, so Heath is a licensed massage therapist, a movement thera therapist, and a um, body intelligence coach. Um, he studied Thai massage with a master's in Thailand and um, has been doing that for over 15 years. Um, he also teaches massage throughout the United States and internationally. So um, he and Nicole travel all over to help um, equip massage therapists um, in their craft. So um, they are amazing in terms of their knowledge of the body as well. Um, one of the things that is at the heart of their practice of their living meta is the word meta, which means loving kindness. And so um, Heath and Nicole really embody this concept of living kindness and all that they deliver in terms of their instruction and their teaching. Um, Nicole, like I mentioned, is Heath's wife and the co-founder of Living Meta. Um, she's also a licensed massage therapist, a movement therapist, um, and a body intelligence coach as well. Um, she has been practicing um, for a long time in the area of massage therapy and, again, um, also helps to equip massage therapists in their art and craft. Um, she... Uh, instructed basic and advanced massage therapy, craniosacral, shiatsu, um, client-centered body work at the Arizona School of Massage Therapy for five years um, before she and Heath uh, co-founded Living Meta. So um, you will love to learn a little bit more about those two. And um, I also want to introduce uh, Dr. Michelle May. She um, is the founder of the Am I Hungry Mindful Eating Program and the author of Eat What You Love, Love What You Eat. Um, she helps individuals resolve mindless and emotional eating and senseless yo-yo dieting and has been doing that for 12 years. Um, she's an award-winning author and speaker, and um, she helps to co-facilitate the um, mindful eating and yoga teacher training, which is a part of our curriculum as well. And I also want to introduce Jessie Dwiggins. Um, she is also an ERYT, like myself, um, and she trains yoga instructors and is also a licensed Am I Hungry Mindful Eating facilitator and one of the trainers of the um, of the mindful eating and yoga curriculum. 
So just wanted to give you a little introduction to all the instructors that we have on board thus far. Please know that this program is evolving all of the time. Um, we will continue to be adding more teachers and more curriculum as the program progresses. But for the moment, I'd love to kind of provide an overview of what the program is and um, and what you uh, can gain from being a part of it. So it is both an advanced specialty training program. Hi, Nicole. Can you take a moment to introduce yourself? I just briefly introduced you, but you weren't here, so I'd love for you to take a moment to just introduce yourself. Oh, great. Um, I, my apologies. I just I just realized what time it was, so hi. Um, <laughs> um, who am I? I'm Nicole. I am, uh, have the great honor of working with you guys. It's with um, building our body intelligence. I'm really excited to share my experience of creating from the inside out, from authoring my life, going from like uh, having things happen to me to creating things in my life that um, ex that enhance my my joy factor. So I'm excited to share some of those um, skills and those tools that I've been up to that both Heath and I have been using to to create a happy happy life. Um, yeah, so I'm a local massage therapist as well as a yogi, and I have a, Heath and I own and co-create our own continuing education business for about the last 17 years. He's out in the field right now um, teaching, and I get to work from home and be here with you, with you today. So thanks for having me. <laughs> Thank you, Nicole. So I was just about to um, just kind of go over the nuts and bolts of the program, and um, so there have been some questions as to whether or not um, this is just a specialty program. Is it a continuing ed program? Is it a master level program? Um, yes. The answer is yes. It is all of those things. And so that's one of the beautiful things about this program is that you can select the courses that you want to take. Um, you can do it for continuing education credit if that's what you would like to do, or you can do it to be certified in specific areas that you are interested in teaching, or you can accrue hours over a period of time to um, toward a 300 or 500 level level master certificate. Um, we call that the M-AYST or the MAST certificate. So um, it gives you a lot of flexibility in how you want to approach the program. If you just need continuing education, um, maybe it starts to whet your appetite and you decide that you really want to get certified in specific um, study areas and or you want to pursue that master level training. Um, that also over time could help prepare you to train yoga instructors like we do. And so, um, you know, just depending on what your goals are and what it is you want to achieve, I think there's something for every everybody um, in this program. So um, any questions about the organization of that aspect of the program, that you can do it, you know, several different ways? Because I know that that was something that was a little confusing to people, and I hope I clarified that. Dawn, I have a question. Sure. Is there a time frame on, like, um, how long how long you have to accrue those hours to become a master trainer? Like, how does that work exactly? Yes, so um, we have established that we would like you to complete the 300 hour program within a three year period. Um, so obviously if you're picking and choosing, it's gonna take you a little bit longer. Um, the first year we do offer 200 hours, not including the Christ-centered add-on or the um, mindful eating and yoga add-on. So you do have the availability to get quite a number of hours even within that first year. But um, we would like you to do the 300 within three years or the 500 within five years, okay? Um, we also want you to make continuous progress. So uh, we don't want large spans of time um, within your training if you're um, on path toward a master's. So no more than six months. Otherwise, we're gonna ask that you repeat the courses that you uh, took earlier on. Um, that way you're continuing to progress toward that um, 300 or 400 hours. Does that clarify it, Shirley? Okay, great. So um, the way the program is structured is that some of the courses are offered as web modules. Um, they are live, and those will be offered on Wednesday evenings um, from 5 
to 7 p.m. Arizona time. So let me warn you, we do not um, <laughs> we do not uh, practice daylight savings time. And so sometimes, uh, like for example, the East Coast is two hours ahead of us. Right now they're three hours ahead. So we give you a link so that you can make sure you check your local time difference against what our time is. So there isn't any confusion with that. Um, so um, the yoga camp modules are done in person. Currently they're being offered in the Phoenix area, um, but over time um, it's likely that we will be offering them in other places. So, um, but currently the format will be um, about a four day camp, four and a half day camp. And um, it's in person, the cost of travel, housing and meals is not included in the price. So, um, but keep in mind that we do have several people who live in this area who are more than willing to host people who are coming into town from out of state and maybe a hotel just isn't in your budget. So we can help you out there. Um, and I can help you out as long as you're not allergic to animals because I have several. <laughs> <So>. <laughs> All right. Um, and then we have a self-paced module. There's only one of them that's offered in that format at, the, at this time, but that will change over time. And um, that would consist of a pre recorded um, workshop series or a pre-recorded um, course of live training that then you do in your own time um, as long as you have an internet connection available okay so um, those are the different styles of offering or different formats that we offer our training in so um, the first module is our restorative and chair module and that begins on June 5th so the first two, June 5th and 12th, will be dedicated to covering restorative yoga, um, really us equipping you to feel confident and comfortable teaching a restorative class. Keep in mind that restorative is um, very peaceful and calming. It's a beautiful offering um, for people who have physical limitations or challenges or just need stress relief or something to counter their more hatha-based yoga practice. So... Um, we make sure that we teach you how to use all the props and equipment that's involved with restorative to make your students as comfortable as possible. And so that will be uh, June 5th and 12th. Then we'll um, offer chair yoga. So we will be showing you how to adapt your teaching to a chair to, again, broaden your skills, but also reach a lot of larger audience base, um, specifically people who really have difficulty getting on and off of the floor or need a chair for balance for whatever reason. So um, that will be offered uh, June 19th and 26th, and, and all of those um, offerings are available via webinar um, Tuesdays from 5 to 7 p.m. Arizona time. Okay, so um, the next offering is Module 2, and that will be an intro to therapeutics and body intelligence. So we will cover um, in intro to therapeutics a little bit about what yoga therapeutics is because a lot of times people don't really fully understand this um, the term yoga therapy and, and what it means so this will provide an introduction of what yoga therapy is and how it can be applied to help your students and clients heal from specific healing projects um, and improve their overall health and wellness um, the next course that's offered is the body intelligence course. Nicole, I'm going to let you share a little bit about that one. Yeah. I'm learning how to sense from the inside out. Um, what is our bodies communicating to us and how can we use that information as a source of truth, a reliable source of truth, so that we can continue to find our alignment and, and share that with others and communicate from a place of, of steadiness, a, a place of truth, and a, and a place of, um, a, yeah, that word alignment just keeps coming up for me right now. Um, but yeah, finding that um, inner truth, using our body senses to help kind of gather us and point us in the direction of us in acting out what our dharma is, what our truth is. So that's, I'm excited to share those tools with you and I'm so pumped to, to be a part of this program. <laughs> um, 
One of the terms that you guys use a lot that I really love is um, learning to understand a full body yes and a full body no. Yes. Um, and yeah, so, how does your body communicate yes and no? And how often we override those those sensations, those senses that we we I'll I'll take that drink later or I'll I'll sleep after I'm I do this or I'll make that nutritious meal once this happens. So this like the mythology of arriving and how do we know when we're overriding those mythologies so that we can be present with our with our truth and and find out what is our inner yes and how do I act towards that? How do I move myself in that direction? Yes. Awesome. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> yes, thank you for that. So then the next module, module three, is yoga for athletes. Um, this, again, is going to be in a webinar format. It's going to be offered um, on Tuesdays in September from 5 to 7 p.m. Arizona time. And I'll let Shirley share a little bit about that training. Thanks, John. I'm just so excited to, to do the body intelligence <laughs> that I'm just a little bit now. I can't think of anything else. <laughs> so I'm very excited about that. Um, yoga for athletes. Well, yoga for athletes came about um, due to the fact that I was a predominantly a fitness yoga instructor and um, but also an avid runner so I took a course um, I took a teacher training called yoga for runners and then my my running partner who is also a 200 hour yoga instructor and I created a yoga for runners program in the city where we lived and then uh, my husband took a new job and I moved several hours away and I left my my partner there to teach this yoga for runners program that we had started, but she didn't often teach. So we decided, well, we just needed to train some, some instructors to kind of help her out. So we developed a, a module called yoga for athletes. So what we discovered when we were teaching um, people who like to run um, as the thing that they enjoy to do most, uh, but could really use some yoga for all sorts of reasons, uh, we discovered that athletes, runners, and other athletes approach yoga in a bit different way than those of us who come to yoga because we love the practice of yoga. They approach uh, the practice of yoga as a way to enhance what else they're doing. So it's, you know, it's kind of an add-on. Um, it, it, we speak to it as the counterbalance. So it's the counterbalance to the other activity that you want to continue doing and doing well. So in Yoga for Athletes, we train instructors to um, teach in that athletic perspective. We talk about what an athlete's body is like, what are the weaknesses we need to um, correct with our yoga practice or, or develop, strengthen, and what are the tight muscles that we need to release and let go and help that athlete find a more balanced and harmonious experience and continue to do the things that they love to do. So, um, Yoga for Athletes will, will just give you that kind of athletic perspective. We look at uh, anatomy from an athletic perspective and, you know, we just kind of teach, teach that, that approach. So that's what we're going to do in about 20 hours, <laughs> I think, or something like that. It should be fun. So Shirley's been doing that specific training uh, for a number of years. And one of the things that I love about it is that she is approaching it from that athletic perspective. Um, uh, Nicole and I can share with you that we often work with people who come to us injured, who are athletes, who start to do yoga and um, are either injured um, from their running or their other um, athletic activities, um, and they need to really find a way to heal their bodies. Um, and overcome some of those imbalances that result from the fact that they've only been doing, you know, one thing for a long period of time. And so what I love is that Shirley really addresses that from the very beginning so that um, it reduces the chance of injury and helps to improve their athletic performance and, and address those imbalances, you know, from the get go. So yeah. Is that accurate, Shirley? Yes. Okay. So, um, the next module is module four. Oh, and earlier I had said Wednesdays. Sorry about that. We do our 200 hour teacher training on Wednesdays. That's why I got a little confused, but all of the webinar based uh, training is on Tuesday evenings from 
5 to 7 p.m. Arizona time. So my apologies on that. Um, but the next module is the Four Pillars of Integrity, and this will be taught um, in the month of October, again, in a webinar format um, on Tuesday evenings. And um, Heath and Nicole will be offering this particular module. So I'm going to let Nicole share a little bit about it for you. I forgot what we're um, do. I forget how much I'm sharing. So yay. Um, <laughs> um, so yeah, so I, I guess I was getting a little ahead of myself from before hearing that word inner alignment and integrity is that that alignment that we experience on on the mat and off the mat and how we can carry and connect those two worlds so that it's not an exclusive practice when I go to my yoga class. How do I connect my yoga practice to my real quote unquote real world practice using integrity skills like emotional literacy? What is that? We're going to discuss emotional literacy, how to create conscious agreements and um, a couple of other pillars that we can stand on as a way to propel us forward into more of what we want. So yeah, so Heath and I are co-teaching that and it's very experiential. Um, Heath and I are super, Heath, if you think I'm animated, Heath is super like animated times four. So we're just going to have a lot of fun together exploring, experimenting, um, and, and using our body really as the resource of, of truth and as our tool for finding out what, finding out what, what is, what's current for us in the moment. Yeah. Awesome. <laughs> and so for those of you who um, have gone through our 200 hour yoga teacher training. Um, in our module four, we talk about the four pillars of integrity that were developed by the Hendricks Institute. So this is gonna go into much more detail um, about those four pillars, but really um, learning how to modify them and how to incorporate them into your everyday life and into your teaching and, and your teaching practice. So. Thank you, Nicole. So module five um, is an in-person yoga camp that's scheduled for November 14th through 18th and will be here in Phoenix, Arizona. Um, during that module, um, we're gonna cover advanced anatomy, healing moves, yoga nidra, and so as release. So Heath, um, Nicole's counterpart, uh, partner in crime, <laughs> partner in animation, um, is going to cover the advanced anatomy piece. And um, one thing that I really love about the way that Heath brings um, anatomy to life is just that. He literally brings it to life. So you're not sitting there studying, um, you know, the muscles of the body and the joint actions and the bones and, you know, all of that. You're actually learning it um, uh, through a yoga practice, through movement of our body, um, so that it's, it's, it sticks that that muscle memory um, is is present for us and we can really retain and understand the information um, because we've had an experience with the information so um, looking forward to that and um, Heath has been included in our 200 hour training in this last um, this last training group and it really added something uh, really powerful to this teacher training and we're going to continue to include him in our anatomy training going forward. Um, he's also going to offer healing moves one and two during this yoga camp where he is going to teach us simple, friendly, easy practices to help heal certain specific projects within the body. So um, this is the yoga therapy aspect of of your training. So if you're interested in yoga therapy, you'll want to be there for this. Um, you'll learn specific um, moves, movements, uh, therapies for helping heal specific challenges in the body. So um, Healing Moves 1 deals with foot, ankle, knee, and hip projects. And Healing Moves 2 um, deals with the boulders and the shoulders, um, neck challenges, um, and then also low back, shoulder, wrist, neck, and headache projects. So, um, and I really need to stop saying challenges. I'm gonna say projects. I'm gonna adopt Heath's vernacular because I think that that's just really what it is. It's a project at the time, in the moment, right? And um, these are you know, simple, easy ways to help yourself and help your students and your clients um, you know, address some of these healing projects in their body. 
Um, you're also going to learn how to facilitate yoga nidra. And this has been uh, something that people have asked me for for like several years since I was trained in yoga nidra. So yoga nidra is a deep form of guided meditation that hovers you between wakefulness and sleep. We call it a yogi nap. Um, but basically, they have found that um, the brain activity during yoga nidra mimics the same activity of the brain during REM sleep. And that's that deep sleep when the body is healing and restoring itself. So uh, this is a, a wonderful way to um, help your students and your clients um, get into a place where their body will heal naturally. Um, and to help give them some balance to their stressful, biz busy lives. We're also going to teach psoas release. Um, so psoas release is a form of yoga therapy that's designed to help the body um, and the body's innate ability to overcome trauma, stress, PTSD, um, and help the body heal physically, mentally, emotionally, and even spiritually. So. Um, the psoas muscle is one of the largest muscles in the body and it's hardwired into our fight or flight system. So um, when we interact with this muscle um, in a way that is nurturing and healing and in a way that assists it to release, um, we can help facilitate healing within the body. So we'll be teaching you how to facilitate psoas release classes um, you know, for your students and for your clients. Then uh, module six is mindfulness and stress relief. Um, again, this will be on the web and it'll be Tuesdays from 5 to 7 p.m. during the month of January. Um, Trina Campbell will be offering this. Um, and this is actually a college course that she teaches. She's gonna be taking elements of, of a college course that she offers in mindfulness and stress relief um, to help provide methods and techniques to integrate a mind-body approach um, to achieve positive changes within the body. And so that's that. Then module seven, um, Trina and myself will co-facilitate um, retreat facilitation. Um, that's in the month of February, um, Tuesdays from 5 to 7 p.m. And um, Trina and I have been facilitating retreats. Gosh, I've been doing it since 2009, and I think Trina's been doing it at least that long. So we're going to help teach you the ins and outs of facilitating a yoga retreat or a wellness retreat, um, you know, from the planning stage all the way through execution. And then we also are going to offer an intro to wellness coaching for people who are interested in really going down that particular um, avenue with their training, um, which, by the way, I forgot to mention that for those people who are, are pursuing a master's certification, you can choose your area of emphasis. So you can do it in therapeutics, you can do it in touch, or you can do it in wellness coaching. So this is going to provide an introduction to um, what a wellness coach does um, in terms of helping you know, to facilitate uh, wellness coaching with their, with their clients and provide an, over, an overview of what that program looks like if that's um, you know, the route that you want to go with your training. Then module eight, we're going to cover world religions and spirituality. And so we are going to discover the tenets of the world's oldest and most practiced religions and um, their pathways to spirituality. So we're going to dispel the myths. We're going to discover some beautiful hidden truths. Um, we're going to look at similarities and differences um, to really expand and open our understanding of, of all these different religions that are practiced all over the world. Then module nine is going to be a, a yoga camp, and that will be April 3rd through 7th. It'll be here in Phoenix, Arizona. Um, we're gonna cover kids yoga, Thai yoga bodywork, confident touch, yin yoga, and wall yoga. So I will let Rachel briefly share a little bit about the kids yoga program and what she'll be offering during this yoga camp. I'm sorry, I was unmuting and then I pressed stop video. <laughs> No worries. <laughs> okay, awesome. Yes, I love that we're doing a kids yoga session at a camp. It just seems so fun. Um, so basically, it will be a 10-hour um, yoga course for kids. We're going to break it down, um, the difference between teaching yoga to adults and children. Um, we'll also um, 
I'm heavy on lesson planning and so to prepare you and equip you on how to prepare a lesson plan for ages and stages. So we're gonna go through how a class looks from you know, preschool age, elementary, and preteen. So you'll be able to walk into a sixth, you know, middle school and teach a class. You'll be able to walk into an elementary school or church or yoga studio, wherever, um, using different modalities that are appropriate for their age group. So either stories, music, art, um, games are fun and ways to really teach the practice um, for kids to have these skills forever. I always teach, I taught like classes today and um, I ask, you know, how do you feel? And they all are like, oh, I just feel really calm. And I'm like, what if we all had that as adults um, learning these tools that we, that we have now? It's such a gift. And so, um, yeah, that's kind of the, the little, the breakdown, ages, stages, games, music, art, and lots of laughter and fun. I'm so looking forward to that, just, you know, that element of play. And um, I think that we sometimes take yoga so seriously, you know, I'm like, it's just yoga. And when we can bring just that joy and that fun into the practice, whether we teach kids or not, um, it just, it really helps us, I think, facilitate more interesting and, and more dynamic yoga classes. So um, obviously you guys are hearing a theme here that we're bringing fun into all of this for you. So, um, and I think that that's really important. It's just an integral part of our human experience is play and fun. So yeah. Um, so then the other, another course that will be offered during this yoga camp is Thai Yoga Body Work. Um, Heath and Nicole uh, trained me to be a Thai yoga massage practitioner. And so I'm really excited to uh, share this with you. So many of you have said, gosh, I really want to be able to do what you do, Dawn, and um, this is your opportunity. So I'll let Nicole share a little bit about that. Yeah, Thai yoga massage um, has to be one of my biggest passions. I, Heath and I went there, went to Thailand on our honeymoon 17 years ago and have continued to go back and revisit since then and now take retreats to practice with our teachers and to explore the beautiful landscape and culture of Thailand. So we bring a little bit of the Thai heart into our practice, the metta loving kindness, uh, the practice of loving kindness through, um, through touch, through connection, uh, deepening stretches for our clients. So uh, it's lazy man's yoga. So how can we facilitate yoga for our clients who are coming to visit us, who are you know going through an injury, or who we just wanna adjust to at them on the mat during a after or during a shavasana, um, even helping with adjustments during and throughout the the class. So how can we approach our clients with safe, confident touch so that we can um, play in a way that that feels good for everybody and. In this class, we'll be exploring more traditional Thai, Thai stretches. And I think there's a confident touch class that you have, right, Don, that goes more into like how to presence and then connect with somebody. So we'll do a little bit of that. We'll do a lot of that and kind of take it exponentially into lazy man's yoga. I think it's a lot of fun and it feels really, really great. <laughs> Yeah. Um, one of the things that I really appreciated about um, my training in Thai yoga massage, but also in confident touch when I was doing my yoga therapy training is just um, knowing how to presence ourselves and, and to be in a healing space so that we can help to facilitate healing for our students and for our clients. And, and I know that's something that you guys really, uh, you know, help us to experience and to embody in our practice. So. Thank you for that. Um, we also will cover yin yoga. And so discovering the cooler side of the practice um, to, to really help facilitate uh, quality effective yin classes. Um, one of the things that I have seen, unfortunately, is that the practice of yin gets kind of uh, lost and, um, and we focus so much on the the heat building side of the practice, the yang side of the practice. Um, and again, those imbalances can occur. And, and we, our bodies, our minds, our hearts, our spirits need the cooler side of the practice to balance us out. Um, 
but also because it, it affects a different part of the body. We're getting into the deeper connective tissues, the tendons, the ligaments, the fascial system, um, and uh, to help improve our, our flexibility and our overall well-being um, in the process. So uh, I, I highly recommend um, this course as well. It taught me so much. And then we're going to offer wall yoga. And so Shirley, I'll let you share a little bit about that. Yeah, I just, um, well, when John and I started talking about the advanced program, then we were talking about the elements that we would like to incorporate into the in-person experience at yoga camp. And John suggested wall yoga. And I thought, wow, like, I mean, I use the wall frequently in, a, in my practice in teaching my students, but I hadn't really thought about it as isolating it as a, um, as a tool that you can use to enhance your practice. So Don linked me to a couple of different books, and I'm going to spend the next little while studying that a little bit more in depth, and, and we're going to have um, some really exciting stuff to, to incorporate that particular tool, which really can help you find new things in your own body about postures that you've been doing for years. So um, I, I am really excited about that and, and uh, look forward to participating, especially in that yoga camp also. Thank you, Don. Awesome, thank you, Shirley. And I'm excited about that as well because I always learn um, new things about my body when I'm practicing with a wall or against a wall. And not only that, it also opens up opportunities for people who have balance and proprioception um, challenges and, and projects. And so um, this, to me, just opens up a whole nother world of yoga for people who um, would like to use the wall to, you know, enhance and deepen their experience, but also for, for people who, you know, are, are a little unstable and need the support of a wall. So I think this is going to be awesome. I'm really looking forward to it. So module 10, um, it will be in May of next year, so one year from now, um, on Tuesdays from five to seven, and we're gonna focus on yoga for trauma and for cancer recovery, uh, some things that are very near and dear to my heart. So um, we will be learning the ins and outs of, of working with individuals who've been affected by physical, mental, emotional, um, and, and other forms of trauma, um, secondary trauma, PTSD, um, to providing a safe space of healing for them, um, but also, you know, helping them to uh, rediscover connection back to their bodies again after these sorts of things have happened. Um, and then cancer for uh, yoga for cancer recovery, recovery, goodness gracious, I'm having a hard time speaking. Um, about 40% of all men and women um, will receive a cancer diagnosis at some point in their lives. I'm sorry to say, which is a profound number when you think about it. And um, certainly I am now a, a new recent cancer, I don't say survivor, I say thriver. Um, and I have a passion for really helping people to um, heal following their their diagnosis through their treatment and beyond. And so um, that program will be specifically for that particular uh, uh, group of people who've um, received a, a you know cancer diagnosis at some point in their lives and just helping them um, cope with the emotional um, aspects that come along with this, but then also to you know be in their bodies and be in a healing state throughout. Um, and then finally, uh, module 11, is the Yoga Sutras of Patanjali. Um, this will be offered via the web in June of next year um, on Tuesdays. And uh, I really am excited about this because I'm fascinated by the sutras. I find so much uh, truth and I discover so much about myself when I study them. And uh, they're hard to study. And so um, they just are, you know, it, it's like reading um, another language sometimes um, because they were you know written in this ancient language that's no longer even spoken and so uh, when we're you know studying the sutras you know it's it's really a matter of learning how to interpret and how to study and and what they mean and and how they're relevant today and so we'll be um, looking at the yoga sutras in detail and um, learning a whole lot about ourselves in the process 
So um, we that's all we have planned at this moment. But like I said, we are continuing to add on, and this program is going to go on and on and on. Some of these courses, um, depending on demand, will repeat themselves. So um, we'll discover that as we go, just depending on what the demand is for the different courses that we're offering, and those will be repeated. Um, but then we'll continue to expand and offer additional things as well. Um, we do have two add-on programs as well um, that you can use toward a master's certification or you can do them independently. So we do have a Christ-centered yoga add-on for people who are existing 200-hour teachers who want to be certified to teach Christ-centered yoga classes. And so um, that is done in tandem with our 200-hour yoga teacher training. And so I've given you guys the dates um, for the required modules um, that it will be in September November and January. Those are all done uh, via the web, via this format. Um, so we use Zoom for that. And um, if you have any questions or want more information about how that program stacks on top of your existing 200 hour, um, by all means, reach out to myself um, or Shirley or even Trina, and we can share a little bit more about that. But that will go in tandem with our existing 200 hour. Um, you'll just be taking modules one, three, and four of their training. But certainly, you are welcome to join us for the yoga camps at a reduced rate if you uh, want to participate in the full entire training. So. Um, feel free to talk to us about that. Um, and then finally, we have added the Mindful Eating and Yoga Self-Paced Program. So this is a 40-hour program. You would get a license, a Mindful Eating um, and Yoga license to uh, incorporate Mindful Eating and Mindful Eating Facilitation into your existing um, teaching practice. So it is taught by Michelle May, who is the founder of the Am I Hungry Mindful Eating program, um, myself and Jesse Dwiggins. Um, like I mentioned, it is a uh, self-paced, so what we've done is we've recorded all the live modules that we've already done. And so we um, just completed our, um, our training a nine week training course um, that was recorded while we did it live. So you can go back and listen to those recordings. Um, we also, in addition to that, have um, recorded yoga practices. So for each of the eight modules, there are two yoga classes that integrate the concepts um, that are included as well. And we provide all of the templates for those practices. So um, not just the messaging, but also um, the template for the yoga practice itself, so the asana. So you will get a very rich exposure to mindful eating and yoga um, to where you would be able to facilitate um, a full eight week program incorporating those concepts. So um, feel free to read that. And that is, like I said, self-paced. So you can start that anytime you wish. and. Um, let us know if you have any questions about that. So um, with respect to the continuing education or the um, certifications, um, you'll notice there's a price difference. And so the continuing education is just those live hours of training. Um, if you're pursuing a certificate, then there is additional work to be done. So there'll be some homework um, that goes along with that. and. Um, and then the total number of hours for that certificate would be reflected if you are pursuing a master's certification. So all of those hours would go toward your master's certification. Um, if you want to register for the um, continuing education or if you want to get a certificate in any of the courses that we've mentioned today, um, please email me at dawn at inspiritusyoga.com. Our website is being developed um, as we speak, literally. Um, and so hopefully in the next couple of weeks, we will have an online plat platform available for registration. But at this time, um, it's going to have to come through me via email. Um, if you're a candidate for the master certification, then um, you'll want to submit your application. We do have applications available. Um, you'll want to submit your application and payment within three weeks of your module's start date, wherever it is that you plan to start 
um, that program. And then we'll do a quick phone introduction. It says interview. We're not really interviewing you. We just want to get to know you a little bit um, and, and for you to get to know us. So uh, we'll have that conversation and then there'll be a statement of commitment and a waiver and release form that you need to sign and then you're good to go. All of the training materials um, will be emailed prior to each session of training and um, any additional reading that is done in tandem um, with your course uh, is, is your responsibility to, uh, you know, to get those readings and to pay for them. But um, all the training materials that are required, we will provide to you. So we are absolutely thrilled that you're considering taking the next steps with us in whatever format that looks like for you. Um, if we can be of any assistance to you at all, um, if you have any questions um, about our uh, you know, training experience, about the courses or anything else, please feel free to reach out and let us know. Um, again, just email dawn at inspiritusyoga.com. And um, like I said, if you have questions for any of the other instructors, uh, we are happy to put you in touch with them as well. All right, so I'm gonna end the recording and um, we just really are looking forward to getting to know you and participating in this amazing journey with you. Take care, namaste. Oops. <laughs>